All right, coming up next for all the marbles, the UFC middleweight championship of the world between Israel Adesanya and John Jones. So here he is, the consensus greatest mixed martial arts athlete of all time, UFC light heavyweight champion, John Jones. It has been a remarkable career. The toughest fight he has had came against you. He is trying to add to his legacy here tonight in what is yet another big spot for Johnny Bones. John Jones is a guy that has reached the true pinnacle of mixed martial arts. No matter what he was going through outside of the octagon, the moment he stepped foot in there, he was just the best of the very best. I shared the octagon with him twice, and I have never felt that I was getting attacked by so many different things. He's a phenomenal mixed martial artist, truly deserves to go down in the UFC Hall of Fame. A champion now was a champion before, one of the longest reigns in UFC light heavyweight history. And it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it as well as he does that 84 inch reach. Certainly one of many tools in the vast arsenal of Johnny Bones Jones. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedowns. If you dare stand and strike him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, yeah. and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Jones is two years the elder. He will have a four-inch reach advantage. We send it inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Middleweight Championship of the World. It's a first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a look see do fighter, only a professional record of. 26 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, introducing the challenger, John Bones! Jones! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of. 20 wins, no losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Israel, the last style bender, Adesan. This is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper. It also is every performance we have seen them put on. These guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. 
right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Right hand punch from the clinch. For him. He misses with it there. Jones's kick is blocked. A oh, little single collar tie there. Whoa! Huge strike lands there. Somehow his opponent stayed up. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Straight right hand now just misses. Oh, spinning back fist. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Johnny Bones Jones. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Nice. Oh, oh. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Jones gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. And he oh. comes through with a big knee. Straight right, he misses. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. Oh, nice jab. Ooh. And they separate. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder round. Whip his hip into that kick. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Oh, lands a left punch there, and a lot of it's set up by good footwork. Really great footwork and setting traps so that he can land that beautiful left hand. Nice straight punch. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Final seconds here of round one. Loaded up on that right hand, too. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. 
But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Round two now, Israel Adesanya. And of course, the future UFC Hall of Famer, the all-time great John Jones. Big kick land. Oh, nice connection there by John Jones, and he is fighting with a definite killer instinct here tonight. And you have to have it, because the target's always on your back when you're the UFC champion. Jones seems desperate to keep that title left on him. Israel Adesanya gets the tie clinch here. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. the distance, gets the single collar tie. So 52 total strikes have landed for John Jones. And landing with 41% accuracy tonight against Israel Adesanya. Oh, that's a nice strike. Jones gets tagged with that jab. Pretty good weapon for him tonight. Right under the elbow by the Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Really taking advantage of what is an obvious one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, he might be out. <laughs> Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Nice punch there by Adesanya. Oh, how about it? Huge kick landed. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, big punch land. Well, he has certainly found the ring. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, a nice high kick. He got him. Straight right. And yeah, he's hurt really bad. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down. Oh, he might be out. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Well, he's got his back now. Now he'll try to start attacking a rear naked choke from the top position. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. His opponent's got double hooks in now under the chin. It's starting to get deep. And he's out. Oh, that's got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. All right, he engages in a single power side here. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's what's he's so bad. Oh, Jones gets back up again. Look at him drive his shin into the 
Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Adesanya. Nice uppercut by the champion. Oh, that left hand is money tonight. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Come on, come on, come on. Let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Do you believe it? This next round is underway. In the previous round, both fighters got rocked. Go, guys, fight. going bananas. Big opportunity for both fighters. These are the types of fights that makes it so fun to sit right next to the octagon and call the action. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh, nice. Nice punch to the Look at that one body shot. Did that show the power? Power in the placement. It was placed perfectly, and now he's got it on the Jones's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. How about that chin? Real skin by the Just unable to quite find that range. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. So we've hit the century mark, 100 for total strikes. Oh, liver shot right the perfect liver shot. That is the most debilitating shot in all the fighting. It is very difficult to recover from that. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Both these gentlemen are putting it on the line. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Adesanya. Liver kick. One of those knees to the body. Three minutes to go in round three. Nice play. Oh. Oh. hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, straight right. We're not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Right hand punch to the clinch. Oh! What a fantastic... Huge oh! right hand! Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, it creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh! Oh! <laughs> nice body kick right under the elbow. He has a commitment to kick tonight and it shows. Time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Jones's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. 
liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut oh. the fight. And just like that, the fight is over. He got him. <laughs> yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. And there he is, our UFC middleweight champion of the world. What an outstanding knockout here to finish the job tonight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop in this contest at four minutes, four seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Israel. the last style bender Israel Adesanya and he gets another UFC win here tonight and he has really been critical of his past performances inside the octagon but a whole lot to like out of this effort here tonight going to be interesting to hear how Adesanya felt about what he was able to accomplish inside this arena tonight